Hi everyone, I have made uh, one video previously on the same topic uh, using a different technique. One viewer asked how could he view the tooltip on the subcategories. Well, he couldn't because the subcategory is on the bottom sheet in my previous design. There was two sheets, the top sheet and the, the bottom sheet. So today I'm going to recreate the same chart with a different technique in this case and we will be able to view the tooltip of subcategories this is a voila so you can see we can view the tooltip voila so i'm going to erase this and recreate the chart first let's create a pie chart and uh, make it big for the chart we we want to create we need two pie chart press control and drag it to duplicate it then we get two pie chart let's make it bigger and for the Subcategories, uh, that's it. Well, we need to first create a category set. So it's pretty easy. You just uh, right click on category and create set, and you will get this. And then we need to create uh, a calculated field that is. If it's part of the category set, then show subcategory. Okay, I call it conditional subcategory. Then let's drag this first into detail and then change it to color. Then change the category into detail. Voilà. And and we no longer see the chart because it's uh, conditional and the conditional is not activated yet so and the, it's not okay so now it's assigned the color white so there is some color here okay you see it's selected white double click the color and it will show up the color palette color picker but you can see the pie chart is there then let's set up the action okay actually i already set it up let's remove this one and set it up again select the set action and select category set Remove all values from set one, clearing the selection. Let's uh, click uh, on any of the category. Okay. Voila. We see the subcategory. And, uh, you know, it's not sorted. So let's sort the subcategory. And according to field, using the field quantity in a descending manner. Now the subcategory is sorted. Okay. And then let's make the subcategory a little bigger. Yes. And we also want the subcategory, the conditional subcategory as label and we need to put the label under the category okay now we see the label 
last that's dual axis so now it's in the same x uh, let's synchronize the axis click voila we see the subcategories and we also can see the two tips voila that's uh, the video for today thanks for watching